In this video, I will compare Google Chat versus Slack and tell you which of these tools may be best for you and your team. So I'll compare them in terms of their features, pricing, and overall which one I would pick depending on your needs and specific requirements. So Slack is a pretty well-known team collaboration tool with many different features. And basically it allows you to collaborate with your team on projects. So you have DMs, you have group chats, and you have different channels, which you can see right here. And in terms of their features, you have Slack Connect, you have the messaging, huddles, clips. You can do project management, which is a newer feature that is improving fast with Canvas, lists, search, and file sharing. It also has a bunch of integrations and they have an AI which allows you to save time and then in the enterprise platform there are some additional features. Now Google Chat on the other hand is a pretty similar tool. It also allows you to have direct messages with your team members along with spaces which you can see right here. So that means you can collaborate on projects with teams or groups and you can click explore apps and there you will find more apps that integrate with Google Chat. Now you can also see your mentions right here and you can just start a new chat or create a space, browse your spaces, find apps or do message requests. Now you can also find a space to join, but basically Google Chat is a more basic chatting tool. Now on top of that, Google has an AI called Gemini and you can also use that in Google Chat. So they also claim it's safe and secure and in terms of pricing for Google Chat, if you already have a subscription for the Google Workspace, then it's just included in that. And you can see the Google Workspace subscription starts at only six US dollars per user per month with a one year commitment. And it goes up to $12 per user per month and up to $18 per user per month, all billed annually. And in this, you will have Google Chat. So if you're already using Google Workspace, then you can use it for free since it's included. Now Slack on the other hand will have a separate subscription and you can see right here they do have a free plan available which is quite good and then on top of that the pro plan is usually 8 euros and 25 cents per month. Then the business plus plan is 14 euros and 10 cents per month and this is per user and then the enterprise grid plan has custom pricing. So Slack is quite a bit more expensive especially if you are already using Google Workspace. So should you pick Google Chat or Slack? I would go with Google Chat, again, if you're already a Google Workspace user. While it isn't as powerful or polished as Slack, it is improving and sticking with Google Chat can save you hundreds of dollars per month or even thousands depending on your team size. Not to mention the excellent integrations with all the other Google apps that you may already be using if you have Google Workspace. On the other hand, I would go with Slack if you are managing a distributed team. You will save time with Slack's workflows and apps. And Slack's quickly improving project management tools make it easy to stay organized. Plus, features like Slackbot and Huddles make it easier to maintain your company culture, onboard new employees, and make your workspace chat app feel like a true remote office. So I think Slack is more powerful and I would personally only go with Google Chat if you already have a Google Workspace subscription. So that concludes this comparison of Google Chat versus Slack. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.